Hey guys, Nathaniel from RC and Safe here, and today I will be reviewing the brand new Olympus Tough TG Tracker. The TG Tracker is Olympus's newest camera, and it came out less than a week ago. A tracker would be comparable to a GoPro Hero 4 or any other type of close up action camera. It is essentially Olympus's version of a GoPro. Before we look at the actual camera, though, um, there are a few other things that I would like to point out. When you get the uh, camera, it does come with a basic wrist mount, which I'm going to show you right here. So here is the basic wrist mount. You hold it in your hand. The mount is up here uh, for any type of filming that you would like. Um, so again, it's a very simple mount, but it's better than nothing. It's nice to have this accessory. You'll also notice a shiny bolt on the end here. This, I would like to say, is a mirror. You can see the camera there and me behind the camera. Um, I'd like to consider this a mirror. It is a shiny bolt. You can debate whether or not you thought Olympus actually intentionally did this or whether people like it was intentionally made to be mirror-like. I don't know, but it's not actually a mirror. I thought it was. It's just a bolt. I still think it could be used as a mirror. Yeah. So, that's the mount for you guys. Next thing I'd like to talk about is, once again, Olympus gives you an overly convoluted, ridiculous three-piece charger and a battery that looks identical to old batteries. So, the new battery is identical to any of the old Olympus batteries, but it's not compatible, and you'll notice on the battery ID, the ID number is slightly different instead of LI, 90B, I believe it is an LI92B, so slightly different battery, so it's not compatible. Now let's quickly talk about the charger and the charger assembly. This is ridiculous, but you'll see this is the outlet. This is your plug into your wall or your outlet power source, and it comes like this in the box. On this end, you'll have your little adapter, which then plugs into this separate power cube, which comes with it. You plug this, your power your um, your cord cable that hooks into your wall into this end and then on this end you hook up your USB and then on this end of the USB you plug that end into the camera and then your camera will start charging as long as it is plugged into a wall so that is how the charger works. Now I'll give you a quick look at this battery, just for those of you who don't know what the Olympus batteries look like. Just pull it out the back here. So this is their new battery, LI92B, as I said, looks identical to the old ones. Slides in right at the back here. Now in the back here, you also have a few other options. You have your USB, your charger port, and your micro SD, which is shadowed. Um, the charge port is right there. Now, to access this back, um, there's a little slidey thing here, and there's an air that says open, so you slide down and push across, and it pops open at the back like that. This camera is comparable to also, I would say, like a video camera recorder or an old type of camera like that, just simply because of the way the screen pops out to the side. So, Let's uh, talk a little bit about the look of the camera before we head into the specs. First thing you'll notice is it does have a nice smooth finish. It does have the red. I think I personally like the green better, but nonetheless the red is nice still and it has a smooth finish. Um, got a light up here for scuba diving, underwater photography, etc. So I believe it's probably going to be a red light. Um, but yes, it's to restore the colors underwater, so this will be great for my underwater filming. Now, to turn the camera on, you'll see right up here, there is an on-off log switch. You turn it on, and on this side, here is your camera. So I have not actually set it up, so let's go ahead and do this here. Um, year 2016, now I'm just clicking the arrows changes the year. Um, so year 2016, then click OK on the top. Month is May. OK. Day is 30th. OK. And time, according to my watch, is quarter after five. Five, 
515. I'm just, yeah, 515. Okay, so there we go. Now the time is configured. Okay, and now it's configured. I can film. I have an hour and 10 minutes. Film, you just click the button on the top, and you can also take stills with this as well. So, let's turn this off now and start talking about some of the specs now that you have an idea of how it works. Let's get into the specs. So first thing is this camera shoots 4K video, which is really sweet, um, very similar to the GoPro Hero 4, step up from the Hero 3. That's great, great, great to have. Um, it has an 8 megapixel camera. Um, it's waterproof to 30 meters, 100 feet, shockproof, 2.1 meters, 7 feet, crush proof, uh, 100 kilograms of force or 220 pounds of force, freeze proof, minus 10 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is also dust proof. Um, getting on to some of the lens, its maximum aperture is f2.0, um, it doesn't have an optical zoom, its angle of view at wide is 204 degrees, uh, angle of view underwater is um, 156 degrees, and underwater is 90, so uh, and the underwater camera above the water is 156 degrees and underwater is 94 degrees and that is on narrow mode. Um, so then if we look at the exposure, the shutter speed is about half a second, so decent shutter time. Um, then we have a lamp on the top that is an LED. The monitor resolution is 115,000 dots. It films in MOV or MOV. Um, video quality can be 4K, 1080p, 720, or 480p. So you have all the options there. 4K is obviously what you want to go with. I'll be filming 1080, 1080p simply because my computer can't handle the 4K right now. Um, recording time continuously up to 4 gigabytes or 29 minutes. So that's good to know. Um, continuous loop mode, a new recording starts automatically after 29 minutes. Definitely will probably use that. Um, so that's about it. There is a microphone in it and a speaker. Uh, obviously, I won't be using the microphone in it because I have my own microphone. Um, it does have a still frame by frame. It does have audio playback. Image formats are JPEGs. Um, there is no image stabilization. There is video stabilization, though. Um, so the image quality, as I mentioned, is 8 megapixels. It does have white balance for... Uh, cloudy, sunny, and underwater weather. Um, can you can play back a single movie, and you can have voice playback on your movies, which would make sense. And then it does have its own GPS, built-in Wi-Fi, e-compass, accelerometer, temperature sensor, barometric pressure sensor, and a water sensor. So it does detect your altitude. Um, so that's kind of nice as well. As far as it goes for connecting stuff, it does have a micro B USB connector, an HDMI connector, Type D. Um, does have a slot for a micro SD card. Memory capability or memory capacity is 128 gigabytes. The battery is Li92B. Um, the in, it does have internal charging as opposed to external charging. The battery life is 95 minutes of video, continuous shooting at a 4K or 480 shots, still shots, charging time is about three hours. Um, so that's about it for the major specs. Hope I covered most of the stuff in this review. It is a great camera. I have not had a chance to use it a ton yet, but I will probably um, do some in-depth filming with it upcoming. So if you want to see some of my awesome videos shot with this new camera, please subscribe to my channel. But until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying my channel content, as always, leave a like, comment, um, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, everything helps. I'll see you in the next video.